Next up here is RH. There's some drawings on here that I don't remember ever putting on here. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and take those off of there. Not sure what happened today, but it looks like we've had a very strong move up over here the past couple of months. Uh, all the way from 26 up to now 60. Damn, that's over, <laughs> it's over 200% gain in a couple of months. I wonder what's going on there. Um, anyways, yeah, something happened today where it got down. Sellers tried to push it down as far as they could. Ran out of steam very quickly and ran into some bulls at the same time. As you can see, consolidation, big strong move up, more consolidation. Came back and retook the opening range and closed on highs. So this is a very very bullish setup here. Uh, indicates that there's a, still a tremendous amount of momentum because it did hold the 21 period exponential moving average up here very well. Didn't even come back down a uh, considerable amount of space there in between the two. Reclaimed the 8 period moving average and closed on highs. So again, a uh, very strong setup there. And because it did not move $5 on the day, um, there's a lot of range right here to cover. And it has already broken out. Level I would be watching this as far as the breakout level would have been right around here. There's 55 and a quarter. So with that in mind, I'm not going to get too too ballsy with it and chase it very far, but I will happily look for pull back into uh, the support level right around there and stop just below this V wall. And if that does happen and trigger me in, I will look for a target somewhere up here in this gap here, maybe the close uh, low of this day was 58 and a half. So we'll just put it right there, and not get too greedy with it. I mean, this has already made a five dollar move in one day, so. I don't expect it to happen again, but if it does, I'd be happy to take it.